Chef Buck here, and today I'm going to cook up kind of a mishmash, uh, slow pot of veggies, but with some non-veggies in there too. It's a slow cooked thing of odds and ends, bits and bobbles. I was watching a, a Rob's Homemade Life channel. I'll have a link down below. I've been watching Rob for many, many years. I think I've done some some of his uh, recipe stuff over here on this channel before. And this is a video he put up a couple of weeks ago. You know, he just throws it in a pot, you know, cooks it for about an hour with, on low heat without paying any attention to it. And then he's got, you know, a nice dish of whatever he's got laying around the house. And it's usually a bunch of healthy stuff. And I like watching his channel because it gives me some ideas for some healthy things to do. He put up a video last month, I think, about bouncing on a trampoline which I thought was very inspirational. And I'll put a link down to that below. Check out his channel, it's one of my favorites. He's an older fella, and he's been making videos for longer than I have. And I'm getting to be an older fella. So he makes a lot of stuff that I'm interested in. And I know that, that some of the people that watch my videos are getting older too, because that's how time works. But he has, Hacks and he has just all these yeah. clever tricks. All you don't do all that. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm 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 a one trick pony, but he's got a whole corral full of ponies. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna not just has gonna nothing do to that. do with his age. Huh? Yeah, but I mean his stuff is very relevant to me because he's talking about things that mean something to me. Although they could mean something to uh, to Duh. younger people. Duh. You know, if you're a young person that has a uh, fetish uh, for all old people. Right. Turn it on my heat. Actually, he, he does it on low the entire time, but I'm, I, I'm actually going to start mine off on medium high and then eventually put it down to low. And I don't even know if he puts oil in his. See, that's what makes it healthier is he, is he steams with the oil. Well, I'm going mean, to be, be steaming. This is extra light olive oil. No, whatever. That's very healthy. I'm not going to put no. anything too unhealthy in here. Okay. But I'm going to start off with an onion. And I got lots of onions, and I almost always put an onion in anything I cook. And I'm going to cut it into some dinky do pieces. In fact, no, I'm going to cut half of it into some dinky do pieces. And the other half I will cut into some bigger chunks, which is something I like to do. Chef Buck loves rustic cuts. Yeah, it, it adds a little bit of extra texture. You know, having different sized pieces in. And you know, for something like onion, you know, where it doesn't really matter how long it cooks for, because of course you can eat onion that's cooked to death, but you can also eat raw onion. So it really doesn't matter. So having some different sized chunks will be nice. And I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple of uh, pieces of garlic as well, just for some flavor flavor. So we're going to have garlic and ginger. I've got some ginger I want to use up too, because we're just getting ready to go to the store here in the next couple of days. So we're gonna be buying some fresh ginger and this is all I've got left. But this is starting to dry out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this up. So I'll give this garlic kind of a rough chop. I'm not gonna mince this up because this is gonna cook for a while. So I'll have some uh, bigger pieces of garlic. But I will chop this ginger up into some smaller, finer pieces. You know, have it almost minced up. Boom, boom, boom. Somebody was watching my last video and they said they had to turn it off because I said boom, boom, boom too much. But that's like my um to kill time for dead air. So I'm boom, boom, boom is my killing time. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw these ingredients in here right now. And uh, Rob, when he makes it, he just has it on low the whole time, but I've got it a little bit high just to get my onions and garlic and ginger started. But I'll be turning it down to low before too long. Now you can do this completely vegetarian if you want to. You don't have to put any kind of meat or anything in here at all. You know, it really works as a great vegetable side. In fact, I was gonna use these mushrooms, you know, just to give it a kind of meatiness. And I am going to use these mushrooms. But I'm also going to add some actual meatiness too. Because I've been using a lot of sausage lately, you know, for flavor. We've been super duper healthy. 
And I know people say, well, you know, sausage, that's not very healthy. But we haven't been having any bread. You know, we haven't had a lot, any baked goods or flour or anything like that. So I have been eating a little bit more meat. And so while I'm uh, missing out on some carbs and whatnot, I'm trying to make up for it with a little more flavor. And you know, the flavor of sausage is one of my favorites. And I like buying these sausages where they're individually wrapped. So I've always got one I can just use up for breakfast or for any uh, little recipe. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce this down to medium. Since it's definitely going now. But I want to chop this sausage up and get this in here while my pan's still a little bit hot. And I'm going to cut this into some dinky do pieces to try to cook this flavor all throughout the dish. Boom, boom. Oops. I'm going to try to cut down on my boom, boom, booms. That's, uh, that's nine boom, boom, booms that I'm aware of. So if I'm aware of nine, I'm probably at right around 20. Exactly. This is going to be our base. And Rob recommends putting the ingredients that can cook the longest on the very bottom. And I think that's a good idea. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and, and put it down to low. On low heat now, and I'm going to leave that on low in perpetuity. Well, let's see. I've got this uh, little uh, bit of cabbage that we've had hanging out. We've been using this now for a few weeks. We haven't quite used it all up yet. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it with this dish. You better save that core for me. Okay. Camera girl is hardcore. <laughs> so you so you just want to eat this piece right here? Yes. You're gonna eat this raw? Yes. Alrighty. Well I'll set this aside and I won't use this for the recipe, but I will use the rest of this. And I'm gonna leave this into some kind of big pieces. But that's okay because it's gonna cook for a while, so it'll cook down. Yeah, you want some hearty pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, some different sizes. Although those are pretty chef butt size. Yeah, 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 but this is literally going to cook for an hour. And I'm going to have lots of seasoning, so let me go ahead and get my seasoning together. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. I'm going to throw some black pepper. Boom, just some plain old regular paprika. 21. 21, what does that mean? That was boom, 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 21. Oh, no, 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 boom, boom, boom to 19 is, okay, okay, you're right, you're right. You're going to have to help me out, camera girl. Because I don't think there's wrong, there's anything wrong with a lot of boom booms. But, uh. Alright, careful, I'm going to count that as 22. <laughs> that might, I might be having too much heat in here. But as you can see, I'm putting a whole lot of seasoning. Because I'm going to have a whole lot of different stuff in here. Garlic powder. Ingredients, so all kinds of things. But I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up. And I'll just set this aside and add it in a little bit. Oh, I've got a, a little bit of, a, I had some leftover chickpeas. You know, this is just a partial can. So these are just some beans. I'm gonna throw this in here just to make it a little hearty. Camera girl opened this here. When did you open this? This is some artichoke hearts? Yeah, you don't wanna cut them at all. Sometimes there's tough leaves. Sometimes you have to, and you can uh, cut them so they're a little more palatable. I know, but they're, they're oily. I'm, I don't know, I don't want to fool with them. I'm just throwing that much in there. How's that? Or do you have a plan for these? I don't have a plan for them, but they can go in a salad. They can go in. Yeah. Well, this is enough. I don't I don't want to use I don't want to use all of these in here. Then don't. So we'll have a little bit left over for a green salad. And you can tell that my skillet has really slowed down. So it's on a low now. In fact, I'm going to bloop bloop it up one to make it officially low, but it's no longer uh, hardcore cooking away. In fact, I'll go ahead and throw that seasoning in here now so that I can get that mixed up eventually. What else do we want in here? We got one little lonely radish. I've been sort of enjoying radishes more lately because Camera Girl's been buying them and we've been using them in hummus, you know, as kind of like a dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like them uh, with hummus. That's a good thing. Let me move, turn this handle around here. All right, and you can cut your mushrooms up. In fact, you can cut these veggies up into any size you like. Just know that it's going to be cooking for a long time. 
having bigger bites is satisfying when yeah. you take a bite of it. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, mushrooms, they're going to cook down quite a bit. I'm not really putting uh, much liquid in here because we've got a ton of vegetables. And so over the course, you know, while this is slow cooking away, it's going to release a lot of moisture into the dish already. In fact, you know, after an hour when I check it out, you know, if it's too wet, I'll just let it cook uh, without a lid on it uh, to get rid of some of that moisture. Let's see. What else do I want to put in here? What else did I get? Okay. This here is part of a can of Rotel, but I'm going to go ahead and add this here uh, spicy tomato in here as well. Just kind of dollop this around. So that's a little bit of liquid in here. Pull these out of the fridge. You need the artichokes and the olives? Well, the thing is, this is an homage uh, to Rob's homemade life because right. uh, he throws olives in uh, many different dishes. And I love right. olives. Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some olives in here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. 26. Well, I do boom, boom, boom too much. <laughs> 27. <laughs> Last but not least, take a little bit of spinach. And I'll just top some spinach on here. You know, I've got it on low heat. I've got all my veggies spread out in there. I got a lid that I'm gonna throw on here. And now I'm done. Just a one pot mishmash of stuff. Uh, we'll come back and look at it in about an hour and uh, see what it looks like. See you then. Beep, 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 beep. Let me get this over here so I don't burn my hand. So we've just had it cooking away. It's still on low, but with the lid on there, you can see it was bubbling quite a little bit. Oh, and there's actually quite a little bit of water in here. I had a cabbage in here. I had all of these mushrooms and an onion and olive and spinach and a lot of things that have a lot of water in it. I'm going to let it cook off because I, I, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't use the water for anything. But by cooking off the water, you know, I'm going to get rid of that moisture, but I'm going to leave the flavor in there. So I'm not just going to pour the water off, I'm going to let it cook, cook away. But let me give it a taste test and uh, see how my seasoning is doing here. But I don't really even care about the seasoning. I have so many different ingredients that, that all that natural flavor is going to be plenty. But I've got seasoning in here, I just want to make sure it's salted enough. But get down here and look, look how close. You see i got sausage and the mushrooms. Now this could be a main dish. Yes. This could be your entree. If you just wanted to have a one pot meal and serve this over some rice. Or quinoa. Or even just in a bowl by itself. Or couscous. Or zoodles. <laughs> mm. Was it too hot? Mm. It's definitely not too hot. Okay. So I wouldn't worry about it. Even though I did put some Cajun seasoning in there. No, I meant temperature hot. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. But it wasn't too bad. I didn't burn my uh, mouth. But I can definitely taste the pepperiness of it. But, you know, I'm, I'm just making this here so that we'll have something that I can put on the side of something. This is going to be a side dish for some other meals. That I way, think I'm going to eat it as a meal. Well, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of it. So if you want to, you can have a little bit of it. But uh, my thing is next time we cook some fish or if we cook some chicken or, or anything where I want some uh, a side dish, I'll have this in the fridge as leftovers. And plus, this is going to even get more flavorful uh, sitting around. But it's, it's an interesting flavor because I got these artichokes in here and I got these olives. So it's got kind of a, a Mediterranean zing to it. You know, if you want a one-pot meal or you just want to, if you've got a lot of odds and ends in the fridge, just throw it in a pot. And just cook it on low heat for an hour. You know, you can leave it alone. You know, you don't even have to cook it the way I cooked it. If, if watch, uh, watch Rob's video. I'll have a link down the, down below to that, as well as his little uh, jumping up and down on a trampoline video. But I hope I hope some of you folks will go check him out because it's a great channel, and this is a great dish. Uh, so give it a try. Uh, there'll be links down below to everything you need to know. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we'll see you in the future. Adios.